We're on Devil's Lake today in central North Dakota and we're up on the northwest edge of the lake. And if you can imagine, you know, Devil's Lake has, has risen so much. That's been the storyline on Devil's Lake the last few years is just how much the lake has raised over the last 20 years. And so with that being said, we've had some phenomenal year classes of walleye. These fish grow fast because of this high water. There's so much terrestrial vegetation that has, gets flooded. And there's so much forage for these fish to eat. But one trend that I've seen, you know, since the lake has been raising over the last 20 years is by far, especially we've noticed it over the last 10 years, is that we're seeing fish, especially big fish, stay shallow for much longer periods of time than we've ever seen before. You can't go wrong fishing, especially looking for big fish, fish over 20 inches. You can't go wrong looking for them in less than seven feet of water, basically for most of the year, winter and summer. Oh yeah, good fish. Pull this away here. All right, let's see what we've got here. These fish just have a chip on their shoulder, you know, 80 degree surface temperatures. And whoever says walleyes don't fight, look at that, these fish are just mad. <laughs> They're up here to eat, and I think what surprises so many anglers is that you know, these fish don't have to go deep to find what they're looking for. Because you get up in these shallows and you'll see, I mean, there's just so many invertebrates, so many young in the year fish hatches, minnows. Basically, when you load your boat in the morning, if you see all kinds of activity, all kinds of life when you're loading that boat up in that shallow water, chances are there's predators there as well. There he goes. There we go. <laughs> Chartreuse blade has been hot, which makes sense. It's stained water. Just put bells on the rod tip where they bang on them. You know what in a hurry. here. Pull us out here a little ways. Just like pea soup. You don't know what you have. <laughs> you don't know what you have until you get a net under it. Good fish here. Just gonna slow us down here a little bit. Oh yeah, that beautiful walleye. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Fish is waking up now. There we go. Another great walleye on that pork worm, but just classic midsummer patterns, you know, and a lot of times people think, you know, algae, you know, slime on the water. Dog days of summer, you know, fish deep or not fish at all. But I tell you what, when you get that, when you get that coating, that that layer of algae up on the surface, a lot of times we're finding fish shallow. That's just like an umbrella, and those fish are laying right underneath it. You know, it's already the dog days of summer, early July, but it's been really hot and it's been really still and calm, and so as a result. Water temperatures have spiked. We're seeing surface temps 82 degrees, which is pretty warm in my opinion. Lots of algae blooms happening where you can actually, you know, see sometimes even smell the algae. And you know, you get these types of situations. A lot of fishermen, I think, make the mistake at times of believing that all the fish are going to go deep, where it's a bad time to fish or a tough time to fish if you get big algae blooms on the lake. But what I found is if you have good circulation in the water. A lot of times these fish will be up in shallow water right underneath the algae blooms and a bottom bouncer and a spinner like I'm using right here is one of the best ways to cover water and trigger these fish because basically this bottom bouncer works as like a great big weed guard and leave this here free to catch fish and, and a lot of times when you get these situations you can't go wrong just burning these spinners fishing fast cover water a lot of times you can catch a lot of fish doing this. One. 
heavy fish. Whatever it is, come on, show yourself. Fish is staying down nice. Look at that, just big old head shakes. I just love that. Just love it. Still I can't see what it is. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Yeah, these fish are just so strong. I never get tired of that. There, another great walleye, great walleye. I'll get this fish in the water right away. You know, you can fish these bottom bouncers fast. You know, you can go up to two miles an hour and use speed to trigger these fish. And that's what we're doing today. Oh, here's a good fish, good fish. You know, it's funny if you get some short strikes. Best thing to do a lot of the cases with this type of scenario is just speed up. <laughs> speed up, make those fish hit it. When they do, they mean business. Feels like acting like a really respectable walleye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Another nice walleye. Nothing wrong with that, right there. There's a good fish. Wow. That fish smoked it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just bumping that speed up. I'm bumping it up all the way up to maybe 1.8, 1.9 miles an hour. <laughs> Fish is mad now. Yeah, look at there, another walleye. Great fish. Yeah, you can't even see, I mean, you can't see six inches in that water to see even what you're reeling in. But what's neat is you drop an underwater camera down, and once you get through that top veil, a lot of times the water's pretty clean. And so you can imagine, it's almost like sealing on these fish. That's probably one of the reasons they're up so shallow. Yeah, just a, just a great eating fish there. There's a good fish, wow, look at that. <laughs> wow. I just can't get over how aggressive these fish are acting. Incredible. Incredible. It's such a fun way to catch fish, fun pattern. Look at that. Another nice walleye. Just a strike on that fish. <laughs> Great fish. Perfect. Slow us down here. Yeah, it seems like every time I bump that speed up, get moving up into that 1.9 even. A lot of times when people run spinners, you know, they'll just go just barely fast enough to turn the blades. And sometimes, you know, especially early in the year, you know, that's that's what works. But I've seen it even today, and it's a mistake I've made many times in my life, is, is going too slow. Water temperature is starting to bump up to 84 degrees now. And it's just a matter of, you know, just keep speeding up and it's just you get a reaction. Force these fish to bite, but hot water, turn, crank up the speed, and you're going to be, a lot of times people will be pleasantly surprised how many fish they can catch. There. What we're doing here, you know, people might think it's overkill, but using an ounce and a half bottom bouncer. In six feet of water, it gets down there quick, but basically you just want it right behind the boat. And then that way too, when you speed up at these faster speeds, you know right where it's at. And basically we're just running along. There's a lot of rock here where we're fishing. This here, about a four foot snail, 
This is just a, a series of spinners that I designed for Northland Fishing Tackle called the Pro Walleye Series. Basically just really exaggerated colors on the blades. Speed clevis, so that way this will handle a wider spectrum of speed from really slow to really fast. That metal clevis turns a lot easier than a plastic clevis. And then alternating beads, I like to do that just because I think it mimics bait fish better. And what we're doing is we're just pulling a pork crawler. You just see how chewed up this is, but you know what the neat thing about this pork crawler? Every fish I've caught today has been on the same pork crawler. I haven't had to put new bait on since. And so if it was using night crawlers, yeah, we'd still be catching fish, but I'd be putting a new crawler on every fish. Soft plastics are probably getting maybe, maybe three fish, four fish out of one soft plastic, but this here, you can just keep using it and using it and abusing it, and it just keeps on catching. Love it when you're going along and just, you feel like you're getting snagged. Then, they, and then you start feeling that head shake. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Gotta love that. That is a good walleye here. Whoa. Yeah, this is a dandy fish here. Get the net here. You know, and this is the middle of the day. High sun, yeah, dandy right there. Look at that. Show this fish off here. Just a great walleye. There, look at that. That's a great walleye right there. Great walleye. You know, I think what surprises so many anglers is that sometimes these patterns will happen well into August. In fact, sometimes the more algae you get, the better these patterns get, and you'll watch rain or wind move this algae around where these, where these algae blooms disappear, and a lot of times these shallow spots just cool off. And so, you know, when you see heavy algae blooms, make sure that you check out some of these shallow areas, shallow structures, shallow rocks, or good weed beds right along the shore up in shallow water. There's a fish here. Come on, show yourself. Boy there. Oh yeah, look at that, isn't that cool? I'm gonna slow us down here just a touch. Yeah, there's another good walleye there. Fish is there. Oh, fish came out of the net even, gotta love that. There we go. But you know, this is just so common. This isn't something that's out of the ordinary. You know, we're on uh, Devil's Lake here today, but you know, all these lakes in the in the Dakotas, these glacial lakes or dishbowl lakes, you can't go wrong fishing the contour, the shoreline contour, which is typically shallow water, and you know, you can't go wrong 12 months out of the year if you're gonna look for walleyes in these lakes. From our base camp in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, we travel the whole Midwest looking for the best fishing bites. If you like real-time fish reports, find out what bodies of water that we're fishing just to find the general patterns and techniques that we're using, give us a like on Facebook and hit the road with Jason Mitchell Outdoors. Running up and down this particular shoreline, there's a lot of rock along here, so it's a pretty clean bottom. And I'm just using the bow mount trolling motor to pull us along here from a mile and a half to maybe 1.9 miles an hour. By far, most of the fish have come when we've been hitting the faster end, those faster speeds. And probably the deepest fish we've caught today has been probably nine feet. Most of the fish have been coming out of five or six feet. And it's definitely a situation here where these fish are relating along this transition. There's a lot of old rock on the shoreline and uh, there's places where there's some bigger rock and the fish are just holding onto the edge. There, there, there. That's what we're looking for. Wow, look at that. That's a good fish. Biggest fish we've had on today. Wow. Wow, this is a good fish here. I don't even budget. 
Those fish, when you think you're snagged at first, and it starts to move on you. Still haven't seen it. Got a glimpse of the bottom bouncer. Oh, that's incredible. Oh yeah, look at there. Beautiful walleye. Beautiful walleye. Yeah, that is so neat. Oh, look at this. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that fish was probably in about four feet of water right there. Look at that. That here is a walleye right there. Great fish. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water. This warmer water really stresses them. There's a fish right there. Slow us down here a little bit. Wear this fish out a little bit. Come on. See what we're dealing with here. Fish is staying down nice. Acting like a real nice walleye actually. Dandy walleye. Look at that. Look at that. Fish is swimming as fast as the boat. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're kind of call it like a dandy walleye. We're kind of like we call power fishing spinners. Now you can use finesse to fish with spinners and bottom bouncers. And at times it works in the sense that you can move at slower speeds, you can fish below the boat. But come summertime, when this water really warms up like it is here, I don't think you can go wrong. I think the big mistake is fishing too slow. You know, let out some more line. You know, don't be afraid to run those bottom bouncers at even like a 15 degree angle and just burn with them. Use speed to trigger fish. But boy, I mean, those, those fish, I mean, they're gonna let you know. They, they, when they hit these, they jump on it. There's not a doubt in your mind that you've got a bite. I mean, these fish, they hurt your wrist when they hit. Yeah, you know, it's classic dog days, summer pattern. Burning these spinners, you know, a lot of times people think you have to be at a 45 degree angle or fish spinners below the boat. And yes, you can fish a bottom balls with a lot of finesse and fish right below the boat. But tell you what, when this water warms up, you know, when you get into the 80s or, or, or higher surface temps, don't be afraid to long line, put a little bit more line out, put those spinners back further behind the boat and use speed to trigger these fish. And that's what we're doing today. And as you can see, it can be so effective. And I know it's something that's gonna work for you too, if you give it a try with the right situation.